The 5'7", 155-pound speed blur out of Little Rock in Kansas State, Marquise Noel, has a superordinate confidence. He posted an Instagram story a couple days ago saying he'll become the greatest player to ever put on a Raptor jersey. Born in Harlem, New York, the already soon-to-be 24-year-old isn't afraid of anything, willing and able to attack angles when going downhill with aggressiveness yet finesse, let it fly from 30 plus feet in traffic, or set up teammates with a shiftily elusive passing ability. Navigating out of traps or splitting double teams comes as second nature, whether it's mercilessly taking it to the cup without hesitation around roaming giants on the interior, or releasing seemingly impossible atomic bombs from the half-court logo, Noel can really score the basketball. But after his statement via the gram, only one question matters for Toronto's newest phenom. Can he live up to his name? Right quick, YouTube's analytics say that only 20.4% of you are subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a thumbs up on this video, and follow at dflowhoops on Instagram for NBA mixtapes. Noel dropped 54 total assists in the NCAA tournament, which were the most by a player since 1989. More notably, he set the all-time tournament record for in-game assists by a player which occurred in the Sweet 16 over Michigan State with 19 assists. From overhead bullets, to nicely placed bouncers, to well-orchestrated lobs, to flashy yet necessary behind the back passes through traffic, to impossibly scoped out no lookers, Marquise has a full array of dimes in which he can drop whenever each is applicable. Noel's shooting range features a high arcing trajectory that his release flings it on. This high arc, combined with his balance and fundamental lower body mechanics, allowed him to get enough power to consistently knock down deep, highly contested and clutch three-point shots for Kansas State in the NCAA tournament. This deep shooting range extends the defense, draws opposing attention, and makes everything a bit easier for the rest of his game to flow. In the pick and roll, he's a great decision maker who can find the smallest seam in the defense and take advantage whether it leads to off the dribble threes from distance or splitting high ball screens to get downhill. After he splits a screen or a double team, he's able to use his quickness to leave trailing defenders in the dust and attack the low man. His offensive screen anticipation keeps defenders off balance, meaning before the screen even gets there, he's sound and quick twitched enough that he doesn't require the need for his matchup to get pinned first. At the basket, Noel makes up for his drastically undersized frame in a way smaller guards need to study. Whether it's non-fundamentally taking off on his right foot on the right side to properly attack the angle, widely extending the release point on his layups, or initiating contact without fear, Noel's a bulldog who has strategically polished mechanisms to get the job done. After dropping 27 points and 9 assists to fuel Kansas to a 6-point win, which eliminated Kentucky in the Sweet 16, opposing coach John Calipari couldn't help but mention the newest Raptor in his post-game presser, but referred to him as quote-unquote, the little kid. We had a, did a pretty good job on Johnson, and he makes that three. And the little kid makes the three. How he, he you know, make a deep three. Then after dropping 20 points and setting the aforementioned tournament record of 19 assists in the Sweet 16, here's what his head coach Jerome Tang had to say about him. But we practice in a place of fire all the time, so he was ready for it. This is a bad boy right here. This is a bad boy. Before one of the dimes Marquise dropped in that record-setting performance, reporters were wondering what exactly he was saying to the crowd prior to crossing half court. A couple of people said before the alley-oop to Keontae, you looked at the crowd and said, watch this. Can you, can you confirm or deny that? Dang, I gotta watch what I say. I mean, so I'll be in the zone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Isaiah Thomas, um, cause I think he had a friend um, over there. Um, and he was rooting for them, and I'm like, y'all not gonna win today. And I just kept looking at him for some, you know, added motivation, but you know, it was nothing but, but cool vibes with um, them over there. So getting attention from an NCAA legend, raved about by your own NCAA championship winning head coach, and chirping at an NBA legend sitting courtside, those three clips paint the picture that Toronto's next undrafted player had an easy go of it at the college level. Nothing can be further from the truth. After spending his first three college seasons at Arkansas's Little Rock, a school in the Sun Belt Conference, Noel knew he needed to find a way to transfer to a bigger school to get the adequate scouting attention it would take to make the pros. However, almost no major program wanted him due to his height. He would end up being scouted by Kansas State assistant coach at the time, Shane Southwell, who was responsible for getting Noel onto the team and therefore into one of the biggest conferences in college basketball, the Big 12. 
Southwell spoke on how not a single other major program considered Noel, saying, quote, I genuinely believe he was overlooked because of his size, and people also didn't necessarily know the kid and what he had in him and all the different intangibles he had to make himself successful. He was getting better over time. He's even improved a lot over the past year. He was always known as a big time scorer, even back in his days at Bishop High School, a miniature guard that could get into the lane and create for everyone else. People didn't understand the heart of a champion he has." End quote. For the same reason major college programs passed on him, all 30 NBA general managers passed on him in the 2023 draft, his lack of both height and weight. This plus the fact that, as I mentioned at the very start of another video I made covering Noel just over a month ago, he was a five-year college product. NBA GMs have established a predictable trend of not spending draft capital on players over 20 or 21 years old, let alone a near 24-year-old. So yet again, Noel found himself on the outside looking in. No team wanted him, this time at the highest level. However, after getting picked up by the Raptors as an undrafted free agent, Toronto may be the best place for Marquise to maximize his potential. The franchise has been longing for a point guard that plays with Noel's leave it all out there type heart and got that dog in him type effort ever since the departure of Kyle Lowry. Furthermore, the Raptors have embraced and developed the likes of many undrafted talents throughout the course of both recent and all time franchise history. From Jamario Moon to Jose Calderon to Chris Boucher and most recently all star Fred Van Vliet, there's been a flurry of undrafted Raptor phenoms. Back in the 2019-20 season, Toronto had as many as 7 undrafted players on their 15-man roster. The Raptors are also the perfect place for Noel because of the fact that he'll be entering a new system under a rookie head coach, Darko Rajakovic, and the Raptors also brought back one of the best player-developing assistant coaches in the NBA, Jama Malalela. So to the new men in charge. Noel will be able to establish himself as one of the team's top alpha dogs right off the bat. Look for Marquise to be an elite backup behind Dennis Schroeder in his first year at the pro level, and potentially even challenge the German for that starting spot. It's good internal competition nonetheless. But it's Noel's most recent proclamation stating that he'll be the greatest to ever put on a Raptor jersey, which is the basis that'll take him as far as he'll go in this league. Such a statement is one you question for a player yet to even step foot on an NBA court. But when achieving success in general, it's always a necessity to set benchmarks for yourself. If you don't have a target for what you want to achieve, the probability of stumbling upon success is precisely zero. So I'm a fan of the goal that Noel set for himself, regardless of it being a lofty one. Is Noel all talk or will he live up to the hype in your opinion though? Let me know down below. This was your boy DFlow, and I'll see you next video.